Hi everybody, Brandon Harder here coming to you from a skid loader in a pasture in Reno County, Kansas. We are out here today uh, putting a fire break around a half section of grass, that way we can burn it this spring. Uh, this piece of grass has grown up in trees uh, over the past uh, several years and has not been maintained very well. Uh, so what we're doing today is putting a fire break around it so that we can go ahead and burn this piece of grass and try and get it back in shape. Uh, the reason this piece of grass has not been burned is because there's a lot of houses that were built here north of Hutch around it. Uh, and if uh, you light this piece of grass on fire and it gets out of control and burns somebody's house down, you're in trouble. So a lot of this grass up here north of Hutchinson, uh, it's kind of the, the urban development kind of stuff, has kept this grass from being burned. It's very important that this pasture land is burned uh, as often as possible because it keeps it in shape. Uh, I'll just turn the camera around here and you can see my dad is there mowing the brush and this whole piece of grass has grown up in this brush and it's got trees in it and it's just absolutely nasty. So it's very important that this stuff gets burned periodically uh, to keep that brush burnt back and let the grass go ahead and grow. Um, hundreds and hundreds of years ago uh, in Kansas this grass would be burnt off occasionally. When lightning would strike during a thunderstorm it would start on fire and burn you know, thousands and thousands of acres. Well now uh, that we've developed this land and it's uh, in pastures and broken up, we've got houses everywhere, it's harder to burn some of this land. Uh, so what we're doing today is preparing it uh, with a fire break around it uh, to be able to go ahead and burn it uh, this coming spring. Uh, what I've been doing today is uh, I've got a grapple bucket on the front of my skid loader uh, and you can see that there. Uh, and I'm going around and getting some of the brush and some of the trees that we've been cut down along the edges taking those into the pasture, piling those up. Uh, and then my dad is in the other skid loader there. <clears throat> he's got a mower on the front and he's mowing uh, all the brush down so we have a nice clean fire break. And I'll just turn the skid loader around here. And what you're left with at the end of, uh, at the, end of the day, I don't know if you can see because of the sun there, but you're left with a really nice uh, strip that's about 50 feet wide along the edge of your pasture. And then that'll allow you to get your truck and your equipment in here um, we burn it to make sure we do not get the fire uh, from the pasture into someone else's land. So we're out here today doing that. Uh, we take pasture and rangeland management very seriously. Uh, it's important for the preservation of the grassland. It's important for the productivity of the grassland. Uh, but it, not just for the grazing of the cattle. It's important to keep this grass in shape. If you let this grass get out of hand, the weeds and the brush and the trees grow into it, it kills the native grass. Uh, and we want to go ahead and preserve that grass for future generations. That way this is a, a productive piece of Kansas rangeland uh, for the next you know, few hundred years. So we're doing our part to get this grass back in shape. Uh, it's kind of a boring job, but uh, for the preservation of this grassland and then the productivity of the grassland, it's very important uh, to spend the time, spend the money, and uh, make the commitment uh, to keeping this, uh, keeping this grassland uh, clean and free of trees and brush. So, um, that's what we're out here doing today. Uh, that's the, uh, the video vlog uh, from the Skid Loader, Reno County. So thanks again for watching it uh, and watching the video vlog on pasture and rangeland management.